about maybe 10 times a day, I have somebody bring me a piece of jewelry um, and ask me to look at it and tell them what it is or some part particular pertinent detail about it. Um, and as y'all know, I do love to do this and my job is super fun, but I thought I would take a minute to teach you guys how to use a loop. If you've never used a loop, what is a loop? It's one of these things, right? And you use it to magnify and you use it like this which does not look hard, um, especially when you're like me and you've been doing it forever and ever um, since the dawn of time probably. But for most people, it can be a little intimidating and I'm always super surprised that people are reluctant to ask how does one use a loop and also how many people in the industry that don't know how to properly use a loop. Why, why? Um, the deal with using a loop is that it helps you see really clearly this is very tiny details um, loops are at 10 power unless specified otherwise um, and you use them all the time in the jewelry business they're light they're portable you can carry them everywhere like they're big deal so i do this right and i see for example in this ring that it is made by guess who made this ring it's a secret <gasps> she'll pardon made this ring okay so not so hard to find out it's also yellow sapphire and it's really really pretty Look at these rose cut diamonds. Okay, how do you use the loop? So the first thing you do, and I want y'all to see this because it's easy, but you just have to practice. You got your loop, you open your loop, right? Like this, and then you have to tripod your body. If you're not gonna lean on a table, which is by far the most comfortable, you have to tripod your body. So you clutch your arms and your elbows to your sides. If you have boobs, even better, squeeze them. And then you kind of like, you take the piece of jewelry in one hand, you have the loop in the other, you figure out which one's your dominant eye. In my case, it's my left eye, even though I'm right-handed, so I have to cross it. How do, you, how do I figure out my dominant eye? Read about it on Google, it'll tell you. And you take the piece of jewelry all the way up to your face, like super close, not out here. You don't do this number. You bring it all up right by your face. So the loop goes all the way to my eye, but I'm squeezing and I touch my fingers and when it's really close, it comes into focus. Oh my goodness. So, but it's super close to the face, the whole thing. Notice I keep both eyes open. So, um, squeezing one eye shut and looking at it through the loop through one eye is a little bit like standing on one leg. You can, but you'll get tired a lot faster. Um, the other thing about using a loop that I like is if you can actually put your elbows on a table and you still do the same thing. You kind of touch your fingers, you touch your hand to your face, you try to stabilize and get as steady as possible. I tend to lean on my nose. Practice until you get comfortable. Not everybody has my nose. It's very generous. It's very kind to my nose. So you lean in and you look at it and you take your time. And there's all sorts of little things you can look for once you're there. And maybe we'll cover that another day. But for now, practice using your loop, getting in focus, seeing really close up. Loops are cheap. You can find a decent one for like five bucks. And I'm sure you can find a used one for even less.